the repair bill. We were shocked. And the reason the city doesn't have to pay if a trash truck hits your car, it's something called sovereign immunity. The city's attorney was unavailable for an interview, so we turned to Alexandria lawyer Victor Glassberg for an interpretation. There is no liability against the city or county for a simply negligent act. There, there, there's no legal recourse. It's a very sorry state of affairs because it doesn't uh, enhance the relationship of the citizenry to their government. Only if there is something called gross negligence, more than a simple mistake, can a citizen get payment. In a statement, Alexandria's city attorney writes in part, under federal and state laws and court rulings, the city is generally not liable for damages caused in the course of providing core government services. But there is also nothing that bars the city from paying for the SUV repairs, and Alina Mazio hopes the city will reconsider. We see this as a matter of right and wrong, um, and we don't think it's in good conscience for the city to damage a resident's property and believe that they're not accountable for doing so. In Alexandria, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. All right, folks, take a look at the latest video coming from the ground, showing a very scary reality on the big island of Hawaii, where some of those massive cracks known as fissures are gushing lava like fountains here. Take a look. Today, another eruption near Kilauea Summit created an ash cloud more than a mile high. And now there are new concerns with lava now flowing into the ocean, creating a situation known as lays. That's toxic hydrochloric gas combining with tiny shards of volcanic gas in the air. Storm Team 4's meteorologist Amelia Draper caught up with another meteorologist today who is monitoring Kilauea. She's joining us now with this closer look. You say it's expanding but not really growing in danger so much. Well, what we're seeing is the ash cloud. What we're really talking about here is the height of the ash cloud and the safety of flying in and out of the island. So are, there are many different threats with the volcano. You have that laze that you just talked about. You have the violent eruptions and, of course, the ash cloud. Now, it's crucial to monitor the ash cloud to make sure airplanes are still safe to fly in and out of the island. Earlier today, I drove to College Park, Maryland, where Kilauea's ash cloud is monitored essentially in real time. Honolulu said that there was a moderate explosion at 1055Z. Between 12 and 1300Z, there was a steady ash signature in radar moving to the southwest. Ellen Ramirez is a meteorologist with NOAA, but instead of forecasting the outlook for Memorial Day weekend... Based on the imagery that we had as the sunset yesterday, the plume was clearly moving to the southwest. She's monitoring the Kilauea volcano and its dangerous ash cloud. My role is to update every six hours for where the ash plume is moving, the speed, direction, and the height. And we produce a volcanic ash advisory. Ramirez is trained to detect and provide critical information for air traffic in Hawaii from her desk in College Park, Maryland, almost 5,000 miles away. It comes with a great responsibility to sit here and monitor it using satellite imagery because we have the, the bird's eye view. Kilauea has been very active this morning. We've been in communication with the weather forecast office in Honolulu. There was an eruption just before 7 a.m. Eastern time. There's been a steady plume that's been being produced between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. this morning, and the ash is reaching approximately 10,000 feet above sea level. When the ash cloud hits 30,000 feet, a typical cruising altitude, major disruptions in air travel are possible. Ramirez said the ash cloud actually hit this height last week. I think that's what's unique about it is that we are in College Park thousands of miles away and we're still able to have eyes on this volcano in near real time. It's incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Washington Vac in College Park monitors actually one ninth of the Earth's volcanoes. They're monitoring about an additional three or four active volcanoes right now, including one in Costa Rica. Also, I learned this today. This is not the only active volcano in America right now. There's also the Cleveland uh, volcano in the Aleutian. So who knew that? Lots wow. of cool stuff going is, on in College Park. This one is the, is the star of the volcano well, shows absolutely, right now. Well, absolutely, because it poses such a danger to all sure. the residents there in Hawaii. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. incredible. What a show it's putting on. Right. Yeah. All right, Doug. Incredible stuff. Calmer stuff here, close to home, huh? Yeah, but tomorrow, Fire. you know, we're going to be uh, focusing on the chance for severe weather. Amelia and I uh, coming up tomorrow afternoon, so you want to make sure you stay around for that. And first off, tomorrow, when you leave the house, take the umbrella. You didn't need it today. As a matter of fact, today, you just needed the sunglasses. A beautiful afternoon. A mix of sun and clouds out there right now. Current temperature sitting at 80 degrees, dropping just a little bit by next hour, about, down to about 78 by 7 o'clock, uh, down about 69 degrees by 11. So a really nice evening.